Hey, 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 everybody, Anthony Fantano here, the internet's busiest music nerd. I hope you're doing well. Uh, listen, in this video, I'm going to dispel a myth that I see permeating a lot of conversation around music these days, that major record labels in the internet age are having a hard time turning a profit, they're losing money, they're going to be phased out one day, there's going to be no more use for major record labels anymore, they're like dinosaurs, they're going to be gone, they're going to go the way of the dodo, music streaming, they can't even make money in this music streaming market, it's total trash, they're out of here, get out of here, major record Record labels, get out of here. Um, listen, that is in fact not the case. Uh, in the age of streaming, while there may have been a somewhat awkward transition period uh, between, you know, hard sales of records, uh, whether they be physical or digital, or uh, what we're talking about here in terms of streaming, um, the major record labels have bounced back. They figured out how to make money off of the system game the system, continue to be successful, continue to be on top. Um, over here we have an article, Sony Music Revenue Operating Income Up Double Digits in First Quarter, a double digit profit. No matter what industry you're in, that is a fantastic piece of news, uh, especially for investors. Um, also, Warner Music uh, in their first quarter has been uh, reporting that profits have been up big time in their first quarter for 2017. Uh, and also, we have Digital Music News uh, reporting, and uh, those past two articles came off of the uh, Billboard.com and uh, the Billboard.com business uh, side of their site. And also on Digital Music News, Warner Music Group streaming surging drives double-digit revenues for Warner Music Group. Uh, streaming is, in fact, saving Warner Music Group, not killing Music Group uh, from Warner. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, keep in mind here that Warner and Sony make up half of what are essentially the big four major record labels, major record companies, uh, Universal Music Group, Sony Music Entertainment, Warner Music Group, and EMI Music Group. Uh, as of 2011, Nielsen SoundScan estimates that the big four control about 88% of the market. I don't know if that number has changed all that much with the rise in streaming. Most likely not. 12% uh, is independent labels. 12% is independent labels. Uh, but the thing is, that's, that's the big four right there. And you know if one half of the big four are doing well in the streaming market, chances are Universal Music Group and EMI are not doing too bad either. Uh, so again, to sort of reiterate, these record labels, they're not going anywhere anytime soon, and they found ways to make money in this market. Uh, keep in mind and be aware of the fact that whenever there's a technological or some kind of cultural change in the music industry, record labels and industry types will cry wolf right away, right from the drop of a hat, saying, oh, we're losing money. Oh, we're dying. Oh, no. Oh, ta oh, home taping is killing the music industry. People recording their favorite records onto a cassette at home. It's killing the music industry. The music industry is not going to be here next year. Oh, no. Oh, Napster and illegal downloading. Oh, it's killing the music industry. It's killing the music industry. Illegal downloading. No, no, stop it. The music industry is dying. Um, and it was very much the same thing with streaming, too. People were just crying wolf left and right, like streaming is going to kill the music industry. The record labels need to fight it tooth and nail every step of the way. But they eventually very slowly adapted to it and accepted it once streaming was sort of playing by their rules. And now that streaming is pretty much playing by their rules and paying them the residuals that they want per stream, uh, now they're making incredible amounts of profit. Um, I don't know what to say past this, man. You know, again, these record labels are not going anywhere anytime soon. While independent labels, sure, they're here to stay. Uh, what makes 2017 different from the indie boom of like a decade ago is that a lot of those indie labels that came up years ago are now distributed by groups that are connected to a lot of major music uh, labels out there, or uh, some of these music labels are partially owned or fully owned or are just subsidiaries of uh, major music labels. You know, the, the whole indie scene has been sort of purchased and turn into just as much a business as Universal Music Group, Sony Music Group, Warner Music Group, EMI. And, uh, you know, so it's it's not even really like the underground or the indie scene has really won out here. The indie scene has merely sort of adapted the business model of the majors and has sort of just come under their umbrella. Uh, these companies are not going anywhere. They're making tons and tons and tons and tons of money 
millions, if not billions of dollars collectively. And, uh, you know, that's just the way the industry is right now. So, you know, do keep in mind that just because things seem a little more democratized, things seem a little bit more convenient, things seem easier now, things seem simpler with the rise of the internet and with the rise of streaming, the ease at which you can access content, access music, uh, doesn't necessarily mean that uh, things are necessarily more underground, more more about you. It's still all about the almighty dollar at the end of the day. You know, a platform like SoundCloud can't even continue to exist in the future if they don't figure out how to make a buck off of their platform, which uh, they're, they're still kind of yet to, wondering if SoundCloud's going to be here next year. You should be worrying about whether or not SoundCloud is going to be here in 2018, not whether or not <laughs> these major record labels are going to be here in 2018, because trust me, they will. Uh, here's another video next to my head that you should check out, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Thank you very much for watching. Again, they're making tons of money in the streaming uh, age. Not going anywhere.